Hey guys, as you can see, I am totally not like in Florida or anything anymore, and I promise I'm going to get the last trip videos up, and I really wasn't planning on making this video or anything like this before I finished the trip videos, but we need to talk about what happened tonight on Once Upon a Time, and I don't know if anybody else watches that who follows me or subscribes to my channel, so if you don't, feel free to move on to the next video, but can we just talk about what happened in the last, like, 30 seconds of that episode tonight. I mean, some people are kind of upset that uh, Miss Elsa, in case, spoiler alert, which you're supposed to say before, but it's too late. And also, if I can seem kind of scatterbrained, it's because I have been kind of like in shock over this episode for like the last three hours, because it's like midnight now, and that episode ended at nine o'clock here. So, I still haven't gotten over it yet, that they actually went there and got Elsa on Once Upon a Time now. And a couple people uh, I've heard on Twitter were not very happy. They think it's pandering or whatever. But you know what? If it is, I don't care. Because it worked on me. I am excited for that. I mean, me and Chris made a bet last week that if Elsa or Anna showed up on the season finale, one of us would die. And guess what? I should be dead right now because I called Elsa. But seriously, how cool is it where she just emerged out of that purple... Purple... I'm not editing this, so you guys bear with me. You're going to have to hear all of it. The blue ooze out of that jar. And I told Chris, I said, okay, pay attention. And this is when Hook and Emma were in, uh, what's his face? We're, oh my gosh, this is so bad. We're in uh, Rumpel's Vault in the Enchanted Forest. And I said, look in here for clues because they always show clues like in Mr. Gold's uh, store otherwise in this version, which is like the Fantasyland version of his store, The Vault. I'm like, look for clues in there that'll tell us what's happening at the end of the, the uh, episode. And I totally thought they were going to throw us a curve and have the woman that Emma brought back be, like, Esmeralda from uh, <clears throat> Hunchback or something like that. I thought she was going to be the big twist, but it wasn't. I mean, we're going to talk about that in a second. But the real twist was that, holy crap, Elsa. She emerges out of a, basically like a vase that tipped over out of blue ooze, and she emerged, and she walked out, and it reminded me just of the scene um, in the movie when she just puts her new dress on, and she lets her hair down, and she is like strutting out onto her new palace balcony, but that was awesome. Also, I'm pretty sure that they haven't cast her because they didn't show her face, and her silhouette totally looked like Jennifer Morrison, who plays uh, Emma. So I'm pretty sure they just put her in that blue dress and shot her from behind for this little teaser. So it should be interesting to see who they get to play her. I really hope Idina plays her, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Although I've been reading online that Kristen Bell has expressed some interest in playing Anna, so that would be really cool. But going back to what happened to uh, the woman that Emma brought back, let's just talk about how I'm not very pleased, but also kind of pleased, that they brought Robin Hood's wife back. Um, Emma saved her from being killed when they were time traveling, so now she's alive still, and she brought her back to Storybrooke. So she basically just ruined uh, Regina's happy ending, again, just like her mother, just like Regina said. But also, it kind of paves the way for Regina to be evil again, because I know they had just spent the entire season turning her good, which is fine, because I want her to stay on the show, but I also like it when she's a little bit evil, so... Good and bad for her, but she is definitely not pleased with Emma right now. So it should be interesting to see how Elsa plays into that. But can we just talk about and stop for a moment of what I and just think about what I just said? Elsa. Elsa on Once Upon a Time. I can't believe they went there. Some people think it's jumping the shark, but I'm totally on board. And I know I'm thinking, who the heck are they gonna cast as Olaf? But it should be interesting to see because there are like rumors floating out there that it might not be the Elsa that we know and love, it might be the Snow Queen, which is what the movie Frozen is based off. Or some people were thinking it was the White Witch from Narnia, but let's be honest, she took her freaking glove off. She's going to be Elsa. She's not going to be the White Witch. Plus, I'm pretty sure Disney sold the rights to that. So, um, Yeah, so this is totally an unplanned video, and I am not going to edit it because I want to get it up tonight right now while the iron's hot. So um, the rest of our Disney travel videos will be up in the next couple days here. Um, so yeah, um, anybody else that watches Once Upon a Time, go ahead and comment below in the comments of what you thought about tonight's season finale and how excited we are for Elsa. 
really hoping she's not going to be a dud, like when they had Ursula. And also Ariel's kind of a dud, and so it was Rapunzel. So here's to hoping that she becomes as awesome as she was in the movie. Until next time, see you later, guys.